and they're racing away. Got them way to a good enough start from the 2,000 metre marker. One of the first to show is Torix Knight. That's along the rail. Began well on the outside. Crimson Comet is three off the fence. Racing in behind them is Dumasani. Dropped back to third. Bell's first wave along that one's inside. Then a length away then to take a mulligan. That's in the red midfield. About six lengths off the leader. Along that one's inside is Galaxy Moment. Then came Electric Storm, got the cheek pieces on, racing about eight lengths off the leader. Mr. Miyagi's on the fence, then Dawn Cloud, the white cap outside of that. And the trailer's top dollar past the 1400 metre mark, around eight or nine lengths cover them. Crimson Comet leads the way, got it by around two and a half to three lengths from in second, Torix Knight. Bell's first wave along the fence, third, outside of that is Dumasani. Then came Taker Mulligan, is one off the fence, five or six off the leader, followed by Galaxy Moment. Then came Electric Storm. Further back in the field is Mr. Miyagi, got the orange head gear, got nine lengths to make up. Then Dawn Cloud and Top Dollars, the trailer. 900 metres left to go, Crimson Comet continues to lead it by two and a half lengths from in second, Torix Knight. Dumasani outside of that, then came Bell's first wave. Further back, Taker Mulligan, the red colours, angled towards the outside, got about six lengths to make up. Then came Mr. Miyagi, Galaxy Moment, Dawn Cloud, further back and top dollar, the trailer. 550 metres from the judge and out in front, now Dumasani claimed the advantage, Crimson Comet still right there. Torix Knight is racing in between runners. Electric Storm looks to run on towards the outside in the yellow and black. Then Galaxy Moment. 300 metres left to go. Out in front is Torix Knight. From in second on the outside here, Dumasani. Then take a mulligan. Electric Storm running on further back in the field. Crimson Comet. Bell's first wave's also looking for a way through. It's Torix Knight in front. Electric Storm. Take a mulligan. And Dumasani on the outside. Electric Storm got there. Electric Storm won it from take a mulligan and Dumasani. Then in came Torix Knight. Electric Storm is on the right hand side of your picture. The yellow sleeves, black and yellow cap. Those colours of Mr. Quirbus von Staden, bred by Mr. HCN Da Costa. Comes through to pick it up close to home, gets up by a neck. As you can see, it's about four of them across the track. Dumasani, Torix Knight, take a mulligan. Bell's first wave looking for a way through, and Electric Storm on the outside with a clear run gets up to win it. Two. Well, we did warn you've got to keep an eye on the Duncan McKenzie yard. It's turned a corner of recent, and the horses are just finding their form and finding the winner's box. Electric Storm caught our eye in the parade ring, beautifully turned out. He's regained the initial form that he showed in KZN, and he's come through well under Dennis for the win. Screaming, I'm sure, with much excitement, will be his groom, Shorty, who also gets 1,500 Rand from World Sports Betting, and it's fantastic to have Bullet join me to accept on his behalf. Bullet, well done, and congratulations. <laughs> Dan is standing by while he's been really coming home on some long shots of late, proving that you always get a ride for your money when you put Dennis up. But I'm sure you can, you can attain to the fact that Duncan's horses, they've just turned a corner of recent. Yes, definitely. Uh, my... To take my hat off to him, his horses have been looking phenomenal these last couple of months and actually always do. Um, and I just think uh, the stable is really ticking over nicely and with the winners that we're having together, it's uh, really nice riding for him and he's so supportive and very understanding in races and uh, basically lets me do my own thing. Yeah. Um, but when he gives instruction, he's also spot on and he knows his horses very well. So uh, well done to him and his whole team, they're doing a fantastic job. Now talk us through the race, Electric Storm, we loved him in the parade and you said he was a difficult horse to canter to post. We could see it gets hard to pull against a horse who's bending more than the reins you have, but well done. Yes, definitely. Uh, being on top of him, it felt like he wanted to eat grass while I was cantering, so it was a little bit uh, of an awkward situation, yeah. but I got him down. He was moving really well going down to yeah. start, even with all the hiccups that he gave me. Um, but he's actually a very pleasant horse to ride, very understanding, and he settled beautifully in the race. Um, Watching the, the last uh, little bit of the finish, uh, looks like I get them very late, but I get there from about the 2.50, okay. and he just keeps on grinding away and uh, really putting his head in front and uh, working his way to the line. It was a very good one. It certainly was. Now, scooch on over. Duncan can't join us. So on behalf of Duncan and for um, owner, Kribis, um van Staden, going to collect that 15,000 rand extra from the Racehorse Owners Association, and that just really added to play for. I'm sure um, Kribis is going to be chuffed with that. Yes, definitely. Um, I have to say big thanks to Kribis van Staden, the owner. Uh, thank you for the support as well, and nice having
having another one, have we? I'm sure he's chuffed. Well done, Dennis. Thank you. We'd like to echo those sentiments. Quibus, very, very well done. Duncan was unable to come join us. Shame he's still battling some flu, and at this point in time, I don't even think he has a voice. But I'm sure that I'd be very, very happy with the performance here from Electric Storm. Really got to reiterate once again how beautifully this horse was turned out in the parade ring. He was easily pick of the parade ring and has run accordingly. Shout out again to Dennis, who's really riding winner after winner of recent in the Eastern Cape. Well done to all concerned.